a tightly stretched string with the fixed endpoints x equal to 0 and x equal to L is initially at rest in the equilibrium position. If each of its endpoints is given by the velocity lambda x into L minus x, find the displacement of string at any distance x from any from one endpoint at any time t. So the string uh, here, here, string string is fixed at a both endpoints. So string is of the form this, and it is fixed at a distance x equal to zero and x equal to l. So total distance is l. And therefore, the solution. Okay, so the equation of vibrating string is vibrating string is given by the wave equation dot square y by dot t square is equal to c square times dot square y by dot x square. Now we will find the initial boundary condition. So here, here the string is fixed at both endpoints. So at any time t, uh, the displacement y of x zero, displacement at point zero at any time t is equal to zero because it is fixed. Similarly, y of L t is equal to 0. So, this endpoint also displacement is always 0. So, the boundary conditions are y of 0 t is equal to 0 and y of L t is equal to 0. Now, also given, given initially the string is at in its equilibrium position. That means the string is at in uh, same position. So there is no initial displacement of uh, the string. So y of in the initial condition, initial condition, I see y of x at initial time is equal to zero. And also given, also given given uh, the initial velocity. So the velocity of the string is given as lambda x into L minus x. So initial velocity. So velocity is equal to we have displacement is y of x t. Then initial velocity is dou y by dou t at t equal to 0 is lambda x into L minus x. Now, 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 the solution, this, the solution of wave equation is given by, given by y of x t is equal to y of x t is equal to y of x t is equal to c1 cos px plus c2 sin px into c3 cos cpt plus c4 sin CPT. Okay, so that is uh, in the uh, wave equation, solution of wave equation. Now, now if we apply the boundary condition y of 0 t equal to, if we apply boundary condition, we know that y of 0 t is is equal to 0. So, here if we replace 
x by 0, you will get c1 into this becomes 1 and the same 0, 0. So c1 into c3 cos cpt plus c4 sin cpt. Okay. This equal to 0. Now, this equal to 0 means either c1 is equal to 0 or this equal to 0. So, this is product of two functions. Now, if this quantity is equal to 0, then that implies this whole y of t becomes 0. But that uh, is not the case. Then we will get a trivial solution. So this can't be, so this can't be, can't be 0. This can't be 0. So our only possibility is c1 equal to 0. Therefore we get which implies c1 equal to 0. Then y of xt can be written as c1 is 0. So c2 sin px into c3 cos P cpt plus c4 sin cpt. Okay. So this is the question. Now we will apply second boundary condition. What is second BC? Y of L T is equal to 0. Now we will uh, write down Y of L T. What is Y of L T? I am replacing X by L. Then C2 sin P L into C3 cos C P T plus C4 sin C P T. And what is that? That is equal to 0. Therefore, either this product, therefore, either this is equal to 0 or this equal to 0. Now, this quantity cannot be equal to 0 because if that quantity is 0 means we will get y of x t completely 0. So, which implies c2 sin p l is equal to 0. Now, if C2 sin PL equal to 0, implies either C2 equal to 0 or sin PL equal to 0. Now, what happens if C2 is equal to 0? Then, this completely, this becomes 0, right? Then, so C2 cannot be equal to 0. Because if C2 equal to 0, then we will get y of x t is equal to 0. So, that's not required. So, c2 cannot be equal to 0. So, we have which implies sin p l is equal to 0 which implies we know that sin x equal to 0 implies x equal to n pi that is multiple of pi. So, this implies p l must be n pi therefore p equal to n pi by now we will rewrite y of x t is equal to c2 sin instead of p n pi by l x into c3 cos c n pi by l t plus c4 sin c n pi by l t. So this is our new solution. Now, now we have another condition, given condition, what is given condition? We have y of, given initial condition y of x0 is equal to 0. This implies y of x0 is equal to, I am replacing x by 0, sorry, t by 0, then you will get c2 sin p n pi x by l into c3 t equal to 0, then this equal to 1. Plus, what is this? c4, c4 sin 0, 0. So, I will get this equal to 0. So, which implies Either this quantity is equal to 0 or C3 equal to 0. Now, 
if what happen if this quantity this quantity is equal to zero if this quantity is equal to zero then then this completely becomes zero so y of x t becomes zero because if uh, this quantity is equal to zero then here this must be equal to zero and y of x t will be zero so that we doesn't require so this cannot be equal to zero therefore c3 equal to zero. therefore we can rewrite y of x t is equal to c to say n pi x by l into c3 zero so c4 sin cp c n pi l so this can be written as y of x t is equal to c2 into c4 sin n pi x by l into sin c n pi by l t. So we will get this solution. Okay, now, now, now we will write, uh, so instead of C2, C4, we will take Bn. For each, for each n equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. Instead of C2, we can write Bn. Okay, then each, for each n equal to 1, 2, etc. This must be a solution of wave equation. So we will take the general solution as the sum of all such a solution so we will take take general solution general solution solution y of x t is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l into sin c n pi t by Okay, so this is our solution. Now we have to find out what is Bn. So there is one more condition we have given initial velocity dou u by sorry dou y by dou t at t equal to zero is lambda x into l minus x. This is given. Okay. Now first we will find out what is dou y by dou t. So here y is this and we are differentiating with respect to uh, t. So that is equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity bn and these are constants right sin n pi x by l into now here there is t. So we will find out the derivative of sin, sin x is cos x. So cos c n pi t by l into c n c n pi by l. Now, now, now we will apply, we will, we will apply this condition. That is initial velocity at time t equal to so which implies which implies i'm writing lambda at t equal to zero lambda x into l minus x is equal to is equal to dou y by dou t at t equal to zero right so that is the initial condition now which implies it implies lambda x into l minus x is equal to now I am replacing here t by 0. Then what I will get? I will get uh, I will get pi uh, sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l into into cos 0 is 1 into 
cn pi by l. Now, which implies lambda x into l minus x is equal to, you can write, uh, you can write uh, pi c by l out say sigma n equal to 1 to infinity n b n n p n sin n pi x by l because here n is dependent okay so this is the solution we got now now this is a half range four year series we will apply here our we want to find out what is this right n b n into pi c so here here we know that uh, half range for your series if f of x equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l then and then b n is equal to q by l integral 0 to l f of x into sin n pi x by l now here instead of b n some some quantities are there we have n b n into pi c so here our constant is unknown is we can write it as pi c by l l n b n so this we are instead of b n here n p n and there is some constant so this i am taking together so that is our unknown okay this is equal to now we can apply this q by l integral 0 to 0 to l lambda into lambda x into l minus x sin n pi x by l dx okay so which implies why why we are taking this because because here our formula is for b n right here but instead of b n we have some more terms that is instead of b n here n pi c by l n b n is the term so that's why we are taking here c. now if you integrate this i'm not doing the integration so if you are integrating this you will get uh, pi c by l pi c by l n b n is equal to 4 4 pi l square divided by n cube pi cube into into 1 minus minus 1 power x where minus 1 power n is cos n pi. Okay. So this is b n. Now from here we will get what is b n. b n is equal to. b n is equal to 4 pi l square. L cube. Here there is l. So l cube divided by. Divided by. C pi cube. C pi. Sorry pi raised to 4, n raised to 4 into 1 minus minus 1 all raised to n. So that is our p. Now we can write the equation as so we can write that we will get b n is equal to this. This y of x t is equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity instead of b n we have so what is our b n we can write this we can write this quantity so b n or pi for lambda pi lambda l cube for lambda l cube c pi raised to 4 n raised to 4 1 minus minus 1 power n sin n pi x by l 
into sin c n pi by l t. So, this is our required solution.